Well, the practice has been um, very good, competitive, uh, hard. Uh, you know, coach has a style of play that is going to uh, make people have to play extremely hard, put it that way. Uh, we get up and down the floor, and the players have been phenomenal. Uh, they've been attentive. Um, they've been pushing themselves. Obviously, we started a little late, uh, so we're playing catch up a little bit, but coach is very pleased right now where we're at. Wonderful. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll move to questions for Coach Smith. Um, if anybody has questions, please raise your hand or you can send me a note in the chat. Um, it looks like we'll start with Christine Hopkins. Christine, are you there? Hey, yeah. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon, Christine. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. Um, so my question is, if uh, can you can can you speak to the depth of this team and what are you what you're seeing so far that you like in that area? Uh, well, we have tremendous depth uh, this year. Obviously, um, you know the way that coach wants to play, she wants to address certain uh, positions that she needed to make sure that we had good depth at. Um, you know, one, you have two, two very talented young players on this call with us right now that uh, we're hoping and expecting both to add tremendously to that depth. I mean, you know, you got Erica Wheeler. Um, our point guard position is very, very solid. You know, we have returning player Erica Wheeler, um, you know, all-star. And then uh, we have Julie Alamond, who the Fever drafted you know, a couple of years ago, who's come into camp. She's the, you know, a four-year pro over in Europe and has played for the national team for Belgium, which is one of the top 10 ranked teams in the in the world right now. And then, obviously, we brought in the uh, Big Ten Player of the Year, Kathleen Doyle, who's also has a very promising career. And then we also have Kennedy Burke, who's on this line that we're looking at at playing multiple positions as well. So, what coach wants to do, she wants to get players that can play multiple positions. Uh, initially, they're learning one position, but, you know, Kathleen will be able to play the one and the two. Kennedy will uh, be able to play the three and the four. Um, uh, we really like the makeup of this team. Uh, you know, you got brought in Lauren Cox, who can play the five and the four. Um, so we're going to have a lot of uh, multi-position players, uh, and it's going to be exciting. I mean, it's going to be exciting. The depth, we can go literally 12 deep. Anything else, Christine? Uh, Ethan Sears. Ethan, are you there? Yeah, uh, Steve, uh, I'm, I'm curious just um, what you liked about Kathleen watching her on tape uh, ahead of the draft and now that you're working with her, just um, what, what have you seen so far? Well, the first thing that Coach Stanley and I noticed, or myself, I, I hadn't watched Kathleen too much. I was out of the league for a year uh, last year, but when I started watching film again this year, you saw this uh, young lady playing for Iowa. It's like, like, who is that kid? Because before, you know, you had Megan Gustafson there who got most of the attention at Iowa, you know, the past couple of years. So all of a sudden you're seeing this point guard that they have that took on a, a lot of scoring load. I think her, her average went up from 11.6 points a game to like 18.7 points a game. Her assists went up, um, her, um, you know, steals, her minutes, everything went up. And so one, what we liked is that she obviously had a lot of talent. She had a lot of grit. Uh, she great character kid or uh, young lady, I should say. And uh, we just feel like her potential is limitless. Um, I compare her to a player that I saw come in years ago as a rookie that has the same type of grit and fire, and that was Courtney Vandersloot. And so if Kathleen uh, does what she's supposed to do, I think her potential is um, uh, like that. Um, I, I really think that she can make it there, and so does Coach. Uh, Robert, you can go ahead. All right, Kathleen, how have you managed these past couple months to adjust to the WNBA while also dealing with everything the pandemic's thrown at you? Yeah, it's definitely been tough, but just staying disciplined and 
staying ready for whatever was going to happen with the league. Um, there was really nothing that we could do about that in these crazy times. So just staying diligent and working out and staying in shape um, so that when we got to training camp, we were ready to go from the start. So um, it's definitely exciting that we're finally getting going. But yeah, it's been a crazy couple months for sure. Uh, Ethan Sears. Uh, Kathleen, I guess just to follow up on that, I mean, what's it like to, to have something like this as uh, as your first experience in, in professional ball? I mean, I, I obviously kind of probably not what you pictured a year, a year ago. Yeah, it's definitely not what I pictured, but honestly, I'm just happy and feel blessed for the opportunity and I'm going to take advantage of it uh, no matter where the season is being held. So I'm just excited to be playing with these elite players and going to have a great year, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to take advantage of the opportunity. Uh, Christine Hopkins. Okay, I've got a couple for Kathleen. Um, so with Erica Wheeler not with the team yet, how have you been taking advantage of the opportunity to perhaps get extra reps at the point? And then um, how do you feel like you, do you, do you feel like you have to prove yourself a little more in that role because of the depth at that position? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely. It's definitely fun competing against Julie in practice. And we thought Erica would be with us, but since she's not, Julie and I both have kind of taken it upon ourselves to do our best to run our teams and learn as we go and just be confident in ourselves, but also uh, learn from every mistake we made. So definitely want to try to assert yourself in confidence, especially as a point guard and both of us being this our first year in the WNBA. So uh, we're working together, but also competing hard against each other to try to make each other better. So everyone does a good job of helping us out. And then uh, my second question is, uh, game three, you're facing off against Dallas. So what are you excited for getting to face off against Megan for the first time? Yeah, it'll be weird, definitely playing against Megan, um, but it'll be fun. I'm excited to see her and glad that we can both represent Iowa, hopefully well in this league and uh, I hope Megan has a good game, but I hope Fever wins, so. <laughs> uh, Robert Reed, uh, anything else for Kathleen? Uh, yeah, Kathleen, what do you think the biggest adjustment you've had to make or biggest thing you've learned since being drafted is? Um, well, I've learned a lot already, but um, just when I got to training camp and playing against these uh, – like older players is that it's physical and it's fast. So you got to be on your A game at all times, but that's what makes it fun. And being put in those competitive situations is what I live for. So um, it's been challenging for sure, but definitely a lot of fun. Anything else for Kennedy or Kathleen? Christine, go ahead. Okay, for uh, Kennedy, I've got a couple. Um, so you were picked up by Indiana almost right away after being waived last season. So after a season of being this kind of de facto draft pick and getting a lot of minutes, how are you feeling about your role going into your second season? Um, obviously, with the new coaching staff, it's going to be um, pretty hard to um, fight for a spot. But I know that the most important thing is just to stay confident. Um, and when I go out to play, especially in practice, just to be myself and just uh, show what I can do. And then, um, so you're in a position now where you played on this team right after they lost Victoria Vivians. Mm -hmm. um, so from your perspective, what's it like having her back? And then what have you noticed getting to practice with her and having her back with the team? It's great having her back. Um, I didn't realize that she was that great of a shooter, honestly. Um, Cause I remember during practice, this was really funny. Um, she was um, dribbling up the, down, up the court and she was smiling at the same time. And when she like pulled up for the three, she was smiling and she made the shot. And we were all like, oh, that was pretty impressive. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, okay. But like, it's really good to have her back and having just an extra body to have, so. Uh, Robert, anything else as well? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Okay. Uh, anything else for Kathleen or Kennedy? Ryan, okay. I can, Ryan, I can jump in. Yeah, go for it, Zach. Um, I guess, KB, for you first, good to see you and you, Kathleen. What are both of your expectations now that you had a few practices in for this year's team? Kenny, you can start. Okay. Um, I think for me, 
I have to be more of a vocal leader. I know sometimes I struggle with that, especially when I'm tired. I know that if I'm fighting fatigue, I still have to talk. So I think for me, I think I have to just have to use my voice more because I know it's a that's a big part of the game. So, yeah. Kathleen. Uh, I'm really excited for this season. I mean, I think we're playing a really exciting brand of basketball and getting up and down the floor. Um, it's fun to watch and it's fun to play like that. So I think our personalities are really going to shine through. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to get it going. Mm -hmm.